Alright, this is just going to be a short video on how to replace the hard drive and the RAM on this Toshiba Satellite P755-5393. Alright, so there's one screw here for the RAM PH1, GAS1 screw. Alright, just undo that screw. Alright, once you do that, we're going to just lift up from here. I just use my fingernail. And here you can see the RAM. Just pull these two tabs to the side. Okay. I believe this RAM was upgraded at some point. Um, so this is DDR3 RAM. All right. Huh, they don't show the speed here, so I'm not sure what type of RAM this is. Let's pop this one out and see if it shows exactly the same thing. Um, all I know it's DDR3 RAM. I mean, this RAM is super easy to get to, so you could easily check your RAM and see, um, see what it uses, okay? So make sure just pop your RAM out and you'll want to match the type of RAM. Usually it'll be labeled saying a PC3 or something. So I think um, DDR3, it'll probably be something like PC3 12800S or something. Um, but yeah, you'll want to match that and then you can get any size stick of RAM you want. Okay, so we're going to close that up. Put that screw back in. Sorry, I don't have it on my tripod mount. I figured this was such a quick repair um yeah or video so let's go ahead and remove this second screw here for the hard drive okay the customer basically just wanted me to check if their data is recoverable so we're just going to undo this screw here okay this screw doesn't stay in the cover so make sure not to lose it we'll set that aside and then same thing get underneath there pull that up all right, so in here, there's nothing holding it in place, so you just pull this tab over. Okay, if you can't pull the tab, I like to use that, and then just push this over just like that. And then we can use this tab to lift it out. Okay, to put it back, same thing, just grab it. Okay, I'm going to have to check if there's data on it, but get this. Um, oh, okay, so there's these screws here. They kind of stick out, so you want to make sure they go into those little grooves there. Drop it in, okay. And then you can go ahead and then push that over. That's pretty much it. Make sure this tab is all the way over there. Get this cover back in like that. And then put the screw back in. But that's all there is to this. Hopefully this video helps some of you guys. Thanks for watching. Um, you can upgrade this to a 2.5 inch SATA hard drive or SSD. I would highly recommend an SSD to speed up your computer. But anyways, that's all there is to this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.